Hi, I'm Roy Murphy. You're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video, 2018 crypto market predictions. Hello everyone, welcome back to the BitConnect YouTube channel. I'm Roy Murphy. Today we are going to be doing something that we don't normally do, but something that I have done for a long time. And if you go back to some of my earlier videos, particularly the third video that we ever made, which was called The End of the Dollar, I made some predictions in early September of this year and I got quite a bit of flack for it. Lots of support, but also quite a bit of flack, which is to be expected when you start making market predictions. It's not something I do very often, but I've had a pretty good track record over the years. So rather than keep it to myself as a little pre-Christmas bonus, I just want to share with you some of my insights uh, and some of my history with some of my predictions. So let's go back to Bitcoin. If we start with Bitcoin, I've been saying Bear in mind, I've been involved with Bitcoin since the very beginning. So, um, and there's a few people that have come along for the journey with me. Uh, a few of them mocked me. A few of me, a few <laughs> these people supported me. Uh, and I'll go through some of those conversations and some of those predictions and some of the mocking and some of the support that I've had over the last seven, eight years. So, um, as some of you may or may not know, I, I did do some comments on the early Bitcoin blockchain before it became. Bitcoin core before the uh, the core group ended up taking over the development cycle for Bitcoin. Now, when I say Bitcoin core, people have to understand that Bitcoin as a protocol is not represented by Bitcoin core, the development team. Now, the development team have a hold on the comets and the pull cycles of what is brought in as changes to Bitcoin. And those changes, the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold and Bitcoin Diamond and the other six that are going to be launching this year, before New Year, the only difference is less than 1% of the protocol. Everything else is completely identical. So the protocols behind it, I don't want people to be misunderstanding about the differences between Bitcoin and all the other Bitcoin forks. And the changes and the differences are very, very, very low level and they're very subtle. But I don't want to go off too much at a tangent but I want to go through some of my predictions so if you go back to February this is very specific February the 23rd 2013 I had an interview with a guy uh, it was actually a two-way interview it was for um, it was for a money channel uh, it was a live stream it was on national television in the US and it was a live stream and I was on one side and a guy called Jeffrey Tucker who I'm a big fan of and has a really big following. He's a really big libertarian. I follow him in everything he does and he's been great for the whole movement. But we did an interview in February of 2013 when the price of Bitcoin, I think at the time, had just broken the $60 mark. It was around $62. And everyone was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. It can never be that high. And I made a prediction then that within five years, Bitcoin would hit $10,000 or higher. And I said that on national television and everybody laughed. The friends and family who have been with me on the journey for the four years previous said, well, that's a bit steep. I, I, no, I, I don't agree with that. Even people that knew me, even people that understood blockchain technology and Bitcoin in its early infancy, the people that even understood it and even developers that I worked with who were in Bitcoin at the time said, Roy, you're crazy. That's never going to happen. Maybe in 50 years, but no, not, not in the next five. And that date occurs on the 23rd of February 2018. So I was well within my limits. I was right. In fact, I don't want to remind Jeffrey of this, but I did say at the time, I bet him one Bitcoin that I was right. So I don't want to call him out on it, but it technically he owes me $12,000. But I think I'll let him off because... Um, He's a good guy. Let's see if we can find him, actually. If we go to my Twitter channel, for those of you that don't know, you can actually find me. Now, this isn't actually an official, uh, any kind of BitConnect or cryptocurrency related Twitter. This is my personal Twitter. If you are in the space and you want to learn more, I do share a lot of crypto related stuff. So you can follow me at Dr. Roy Murphy. I've been there for the last seven or eight years, but we can probably find Jeffrey. Let's have a little look. He's got a big following. Oh, there we go. So Jeffrey A. Tucker, I am following him myself. He's got 
30,000 followers. He's written loads of books. Uh, he's a big libertarian uh, in, in that kind of movement. He's in uh, collectivism and libertarian movement. So um, it was actually Jeffrey that actually introduced me to the American style of libertarian thinking. That doesn't exist really in the UK. So we are worlds apart together, but a lot of our thought process, the way that we see the world and the way that we think that money should be uh, spread and adopted. And, um, you know, we don't like the the thought that 1% of the world's population owns 80% of all the money. That is just intrinsically wrong uh, for society and the world to be on an even keel. That needs to be spread, which is why I'm such a massive fan of BitConnect, because it's doing that right now. All this FUD is to do with people not understanding the logistics of this sea change. And Jeffrey understood this very, very early on, and he was a big proponent. Uh, I think we've both been on the um, on the Kaiser Report together, talking about this. Um, speaking of which, actually, there's uh, another guy who I've been working with for a long time. Uh, you can follow him. Uh, his name is Jameson Lop, and uh, he's recently done. I've shared some of his videos. Uh, he's a really good guy. There's nothing about Bitcoin that this guy does not understand. He is uh, currently a, uh, uh, an engineer. He's the chief engineer for BitGo. He's the creator of Satoshi.info. So it's all of the information, of what's going on behind the blockchain. If you go to lop.net, everything, anything, data, like intrinsic, really high level stuff is on lop.net. Anything you need to know, ask him. He's really, really uh, amiable, affable. Um, you can ask him anything. If it's to do with Bitcoin, he is your man. If you want to follow anything at all, this is why he's got 57,000 followers. This guy, Jameson, he is a really good guy. He's your go-to guy for anything technical in the crypto world, especially Bitcoin. Uh, and he did a, um, I wonder if we can find it. Um, he did, oh, you go. He was on Kaiser Report. This is part two. Uh, I shared these, but it's really, really um, if you can find him and you can see some of his um, some of his, some of his talks with Max Kaiser, it's really interesting, really high level stuff. But he he does it in such a way that everybody can understand. So really, either follow Kaiser Report. I've done loads of stuff with the RT channel, but certainly follow Jemison Lop and follow everything he says. He is uh, he's my guru. He's my go to guy. Anything I want to know, what's changing, what's going on with forks, um, follow Jemison. He's he's a top bloke. Let's get on. Before we start doing market predictions, let's start going to uh, BCC Pay. Um, it was supposed to launch on the 1st, and it's now been pushed back to the 15th. There's been lots of FUD saying, oh, I told you it was never going to launch. No, it is going to launch. And the reason why it was delayed, if we scroll down uh, past the benefits section and you look at the card fees and limits, this has just been updated recently. So they've changed some of the fee limits because they have two different binary trees uh, for the types of card that you get, depending on this KYC level. So if you're KYC level one, you're a silver member and the value of purchases per day, you can have up to six purchases, separate transactions per day with a limit of $2,500. Now this is to do, we'll, we'll, we'll dig into this in a moment. Um, this is to do with uh, ATM transaction limits and the difference between the link network. So Link Network uh, covers 35 million ATMs around the world. So um, Uquid, who are the payment processors for the BCC Pay card, have had to do, or not had to do, they've decided to make two levels so that there's different limits. So obviously different people in the normal world, in the fiat currency worlds, have different types of uh, credit limits. Now this is the way of using this KYC levels to decipher the limits, which is why there's the delay. So they're just tying this up now, and this has now all been agreed. So this is great. So um, ATM with withdrawals for uh, level one is $400 a day. ATM withdrawals in the US and Canada only is $1,000, um, or value of ATM withdrawal is $2,600. There's no limit, uh, maximum limit, but these limits here for ATM withdrawals in, um, in the West, in US and Canada, there is no limit. So the limit is actually the limits of the ATM machines themselves. So if you want to know what the KYC level is, KYC stands for Know Your Customer. So if you go to the Know Your Customer on Wiki, 
You will see that it's the process of businesses identifying and verifying the identity of its clients. The term is also used to refer to the banking and anti-money laundering regulations which governs these activities. Know your customer processes are also employed by companies of all sizes for the purpose of ensuring their proposed agents, consultants and distributors are anti-bribery compliant. Banks, insurers and export creditors are increasingly demanding that customers provide detailed anti-corruption due diligence information. So this also covers its users. So this is an insurance policy for the users that backs the money that they transfer into the funds for a payment on this card. So this is part of the regulationary changes, which is why there's a 15 day delay. They've had to adapt to these KYC regulations in order that BitConnect can actually ensure the balance of your balance or the monies that you put into this account will always be covered and there is no third party, um, uh, third party liabilities. Okay, so it doesn't refer to the banks, it doesn't fall on the ATM machines. If the money's in there, it will be paid. So this is the uh, KYC, uh, which you see here. So it's to do with the levels of, it's about like going to a normal exchange. Uh, if you go to a normal, like you go to Coinbase or you go to Kraken or you go to uh, CEX.io, depending on the amount of information you give them, depends on the level, the KYC level, that will be provided to you for your uh, purchase values and your transaction history uh, and your limits on your card. So that is why there is a 15 day delay. So that was now launching worldwide in 35 million ATMs and lots of networks are supporting the link network. So if we go to link, so this is all to do with the link network. If we go to link, and if I talk about this uh, from my perspective in the UK, every single ATM machine as link. Not all of them have Visa, not all of them have MasterCard, not all of them support withdrawals or transactions in American Express, but 100% of them support link. And the BCC pay card, but there was a big thing. Why is the BCC pay card at the last annual event? Why has it got MasterCard on it? Why has it got Visa? I've called Visa. Uh, they've said they're not supporting BitConnect. Well, no, they're not supporting BitConnect because it's a third party. It's through Uquid and they are the payment gateways and they have an agreement with Link. Link allows you to be able to use 35 million payment gateways around the world and also every single um, European Link network. Now that is a different network in the US and in Canada. Part of the Link network does work in most ATM machines in the US and in Canada, uh, but not all, but most of them do. Uh, so, you know, your ones in your high streets, the ones in your cities, will all accept uh, link generated ATM transactions. And most payment processes also allow link as well, and that is worldwide. So um, this particularly in the UK, there is, um, it is actually 100% of every single um, ATM machine in the UK uh, supports the link network. Okay, every single one of them. And if you look at the areas, now this is me, this is where I live. If we scroll out, you can see whereabouts in the UK I am. So I'm an hour and a half, two hours drive from London. But if we scroll out, scroll out, the link networks covers Northern Ireland, Ireland, the United Kingdom, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Belarus, Ukraine, Romania, Greece, Italy, Austria, Poland, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal. And if we scroll in here, Belgium, Netherlands, Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Switzerland, Montenegro, Serbia, Macedonia, not Albania, but Greece and uh, parts of Turkey, all of Cyprus. And there are obviously other parts of the world that also support it, but these are 100% in these countries. So all of Europe, oh, and Iceland is also included. So this is where the BCC card will work from day one, 100% in every single ATM machine. Uh, and most payment processors uh, over the counter that have these contactless cards uh, will also uh, be supported. So there you go. Uh, US, most of it, I'd say probably 80% of the US and Canada, uh, most of their ATA, uh, ATM machines uh, support the link system or, or the US equivalent of the link system uh, using the SWIFT, uh, the Swift method. Um, it does still work over there as well. So also parts of Mexico, uh, anything, you know, uh, Puerto Rico, Cuba, uh, a lot of these islands, Caribbean uh, islands, and some of the Greek islands as well. And there was places like um, Co uh, Cos, 
Corsica, Sardinia, uh, Canary Islands, all of these will all be supported because they're all Spanish or Portuguese or Greek. And there's a thousand Greek islands and that will all support it as well. And there's, there's, a, big, there's a big market there. So um, that is the BCC pay card. So one of the predictions I did make, uh, let's talk about, let's go to the uh, year to date. Now this is the US dollar. My third video was called the end of the dollar. So my last prediction, which I made in the end of September and everything started to pick up. There was a big decline and everything started to pick up. Stocks went their highest. Uh, Trump was saying stocks are brilliant and it's all up to me. And it was my, I, I created it. I did say at this point in that no, number three video that by November, the Fed will not increase their rate. Even though all of the media outlets were saying they would, I said they would not. And I said at the time they will not raise interest rates before March 2018. I'm going to extend that now. I don't think they will raise interest rates for the first half of 2018. I think you're going to get no rates. This is artificial recovery. And I said, whilst it was here, I said that by the first half of next year, the uh, US dollar index rates will drop to 85 points. When it gets to 85 points, the dollar will be in free fall stock market will collapse. I still stand by that. I've been saying it now for six months. I've said it publicly for the last four. I stand by that statement. And I think in 2018, you will see a global financial dollar crisis. Many reasons I covered in that video. If you haven't seen it, I, su I suggest you find it. It's called um, BitConnect, the end of the dollar. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I, I suggest that you go and uh, have a look. So let's get rid of some of these. Um, that's going to be bad for many reasons. Lots of people have asked me questions about um, about how does that stand for uh, BitConnect. Doesn't matter. Bearing in mind that uh, dollars are just a token revalue that we price the value of BitConnect. BitConnect doesn't doesn't trade in the value of the dollar. Okay, it's worth three hundred and thirty one dollars today, but that is something that everybody can understand. BitConnect is traded as a percentage of Bitcoin. Nothing else. It doesn't have a dollar value. It has a ratio value to this guy up here. So let's do some predictions then. Uh, I said I was going to do some predictions for uh, 2018. So the market cap now, it's jumped up 50, 50 million in the last uh, couple of weeks. It's gone up 50 billion. It's gone down 50 billion and gone back in again. This is a lot of this is to do with these um, these new in indexes, these new trading platforms in the States coming online, you know, these new futures markets coming in. So that's why we've had big velocity come through, which is why I did explain in another video, uh, lots of people were worried about the price of BitConnect. It was hovering between 280 and $300. It couldn't break that $300 mark whilst Bitcoin went from $7,000 to $11,700 down to $9,007 to $10,200 and people go, it's going up, but why isn't Bitcoin? It's always, always followed. So I explained that saying there's so much velocity that the BitConnect platform as an exchange cannot keep up that kind of velocity with the gains and the money that are being thrown into the system. But don't worry, it will come down. I said in my last video two days ago that BitConnect which at the time was at $305, would break the $330 mark and probably go up to $340. It's been hovering between $330 and $340 today. So again, I was bang on. And I expect this to raise, I expect this over the next three or four days to go up to around $340, then consolidate for a little while until it goes back up again before Christmas. So predictions. So I predict... Now these, if I, all of these predictions I'm going to say to you now, I haven't got them written down. I'm just going to say these off the cuff. These are on top of my head. I would say that 80%, if I don't get 80% of these predictions right, I will eat my children. I wouldn't say it unless I didn't believe in it. Uh, I won't go through all the reasons why I think that, but I think there are certain market trends, market cases, looking at the industry in general. I'm not asking you to act upon it. I'm just asking you to listen and then draw your own conclusions. So I think in 2018, the market cap will very quickly reach the $1 trillion mark. That I think is inevitable in 2018. Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin will reach um, 500 
billion. I think it will reach the half a trillion dollar mark in 2018. I think Ethereum will stay up there with the big boys, but I think it will drop down to third place in 2013. I think it will be overtaken by Bitcoin Cash. And if you ask me to extend my predictions, I will actually say that over the next three years, by the end of 2020, I expect Bitcoin Cash to out accelerate and outgrow Bitcoin. And I expect Bitcoin Cash to out accelerate Bitcoin. That doesn't mean that Bitcoin isn't going to be number one anymore. I will also predict that Bitcoin Cash, as it out accelerates and has more um, more velocity and more trading, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash will be announced as the new Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash will be called Bitcoin, and I expect Bitcoin to be called Bitcoin Classic to to diverge the two different forks. So Bitcoin will always be number one, but it may not be this Bitcoin. My hunch, just based on everything I know. And I don't have 10 hours to explain to you my reasons. Maybe I'll break it down into other videos. But I think over the next three years, Bitcoin Cash will reign king. I think everything that they're trying to achieve, I don't think it's a cheap ripoff. I, I see Bitcoin Cash personally. This is my own opinion. I see from my development background in Bitcoin that Bitcoin Cash truly represents that. And this is becoming a pastiche of itself for various reasons that we won't get into now, most of them political. If you follow me on Twitter, you will understand the reasons. So uh, IOTA, I expect to do really, really well. Um, the Internet of Things is massive. If this is the coin that takes over, I expect this to stay in the top five. Dash, I think, is going to have a really good year in 2018. I expect this to hit the $1,000 mark easily this year. Uh, Litecoin, you know, it's the good old faithful, it's the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Uh, I expect that to stay in the top 15, although I think it will it will drop. Bitcoin gold, I don't have a lot of faith in Bitcoin gold. I think that will drop out of the top 20 in 2018. Uh, Monero, I think, has a lot of use case. I think there's lots of legs in Monero for the next year. Uh, you could see big things uh, from Monero. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a thousand dollar Monero at this time next year. Ethereum Classic, I think, will fade away. Neo, I don't think, will go very far. Uh, I think that will drop off the f the top twenty. I think Nem will have a really good year, and I can see that making a dollar. So that's a five x. I think Nem will do a five x this year, and I think you'll see a one dollar Nem this year. EOS is one of my biggest my biggest punts for this year. I think EOS will easily reach $10. That will give it a market cap that if it reached that $10 today, we'll put it in the top five. Um, I don't think it'll reach the top five. I think it will definitely get into the top 10, uh, but I see big things from EOS this year. Uh, Stellar Lumens, um, I don't know a lot about Stellar Lumens, but when Stellar launched, I was one of the very, very first people in it and their pre, it wasn't even an ICO, it was their pre-launch. They made some changes and I just lost all my coins and then just thought, oh, just you know, it was crazy. They were giving thousands of them away. Uh, I think I had 20,000 at one point, but uh, I can see that doing really well this year, but I don't expect it to stay in the top 20. BitConnect. Now, I have lots of faith, as you may or may not know, in BitConnect. Strange that, isn't it? Uh, BitConnect, I think, will overtake, in the grand scheme of things, I think this year in 2018, I think it will have a market cap over 6 billion and I expect it to outperform Litecoin. So by this time next year, I think wherever Litecoin is, I think BitConnect will be above it. So uh, whether that's number eight, number seven, I think it will be around this area for this time next year. And this is bearing in mind um, there are some other issues that we haven't considered, which we probably will dig into. Actually, we'll go, we'll go into that in a minute in, in the, um, the market cap for BitConnect. Oh My's Go, I think, is on the way down. Uh, that there that has been the trend for the last six months it's been up it's been down it's had some good days and bad days but so is the whole altcoin uh, space I think Omar's go will drop right down I'm going to skip some of these tether uh, is doing really well at the moment it's so volatile and I haven't seen any change I've got a funny feeling that's going to dip I, I don't have any faith in tether um, the ones that I think will do really well auger I think will go into the top 15 I think we can see a hundred dollar auger over the next year. The use case, it has a really good um, uh, support group. It's also, it's on the uh, Shapeshift network. 
I can see lots of people adopting it. There's lots of money moved in. And I can see that growing uh, big time over the next year. Salt. I wish I hadn't sold all the salt that I did. I made a good killing on it and I, I got out at the right time on salt because about three weeks ago it dipped like 10%, then 10%, then 10%. And I was like, yeah, I did really well. But it bounced back with a vengeance. Um, salt, I always thought there was a really good use case for salt um, because of the industry. And it's a, there's a huge amount of money in that industry. And if it is adopted as the protocol of choice, I can see Salt uh, doing some really great things. It's had a, it's had a big bounce today of 8.4. It, it dived yesterday as well. Um, but the last week, it's had a really good, uh, really good run. What else? Basic attention. Now this, I think, could be a biggie. I expect this to be in the top 20 next year, and I can see a $1 basic attention uh, at the very minimum. Next year, I think we'll see a 5x, or possibly a 10x on basic attention next year. Uh, it's done really well today, 10.3%, so that's good. Uh, I got in at $0.06, cents, I believe. Uh, what else? Gnosis. I sold lots of Gnosis. I did well on Gnosis. I think that's going to do really well this year. Civic. Really good use case. That will be adopted all around the world. I think their plan is going to be a three-year plan, so it could be a long burn. But Civic, I think, will do really, really well. If you got a $1 Civic this year, that would not surprise me if it did that in six months. So I think Civic is a good bet to hold on to long term. My biggest bet of 2018, if you can get in now, is Funfair. I expect a $3 Funfair and I bought in at 1.5 cents. So I've, I've had a 3x already, but I think that is going to go to $3. There's lots of them. So $3 is a big ask. $3 is big. But if you look at what they're doing, you look at the plans, you do your research, have a look at Funfair. If you like what you see, it's not too late to get in. It's zero. It's 2.9 cents. Buy shed loads of them. Just get in on Funfair now. You, you will thank me. Give me six months. If you don't make 10x in six months, again, I'll eat my kids. Um, I don't want to go through too many. But there's nothing that really strikes out, but um, that's the highlights. And the highlight, obviously, for this year, in terms of investment, will be BitConnect. 2018 will be the biggest year for BitConnect ever. All of the FUD, all of the, um, all of the issues. I've, I've got meetings tomorrow. I've got meetings Thursday. I've got some stuff that's going on with BitConnect. Uh, people within the industry, people that are market movers, doing stuff planned. It's, I'm not just talking about 2018. I've got, I'm working with stuff for 2019. So I'm starting to think a little bit further ahead now. Um, so, you know, everyone behind the scenes is planning two, three years ahead. So if you're worried about the next nine to ten months, don't worry about it. It's going to be a fantastic year for Bitcoin. It's going to be a fantastic year for cryptos. Um, there's going to be some really, really dodgy ICOs. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, EthConnect, I'm not sold on. I think that could be the biggest flop of the year. Uh, I really hope I'm wrong for all of my team. Um, and all those people that were invested, including myself. Um, and finally, before we sign off, I want to talk again for the last time. This will be the third video I've done. Um, this is just pushing my little thing. This is Mint Builder. Probably have to re-log in again now because I've been signed out for a while. Um, Mint Builder. It's been crazy. I've had 145 people I have assigned. I've got another two, 200 people waiting in the list. From this video, I expect another 200 people to sign up over the next 24 hours. You've got 48 hours, guys, and the doors will be locked for your lifetime uh, membership at $99. It's normally $199 a year. And the biggest thing at the moment is that if I show you my team and I show you my tree, if I go to my binary tree, this shows you me at the top and everybody underneath. So you can see Sean Watson, Owen Leonard, Dean McKenna, Walid Aslam, Terence Dunn, and Kevin Richardson are my go-to guys. These are my top line here. So you guys here have tons and tons of people. If we go to, for example, Dean, if we can see under here, you can see how many people I've put under him. I put 14 people to the left and 22 to the right. He has 36 people and 1,800 mint points. So what do you need to do? Nothing. You don't even need to market it. Oh, it's good. But you don't need to make a YouTube channel. You don't need anything to make money. I will place, I will do the marketing for you. I will place people underneath you. 
The key at this stage in time is to get in as early as you can. Okay, so it's 25 points for an MS-70 minted coin. So do the math. Okay, <clears throat> if I show you the, uh, some of the some of the tools and training stuff, let's wonder if there's anything in there. Okay, let's go to the uh, web version. Let's just go through this again. We've done it in another video already. I don't want to lose you just now. But um, this is how the pyramid works. So if I bring people into my downline, the only thing you have to do, I will load you up. The only thing you have to do is to keep your auto ship on. It's $127 a month and you get a very rare MS minted coin delivered to you each month as part of your package. But I will add to your team. Everyone else has to do the same and you will have enough referrals under your system. Uh, the quicker you get in, the quicker that you will get more referrals, you get more people under your system. They will automatically add a balance in your uh, running dollar balance, which will automatically pay for your ship. So you do essentially get a free coin each and every month. You leave that shipped on and I will load you up. You get 250 mint points for every new, mint, uh, every new person on your team. Uh, for the left and right, you get a, a total of 500. Uh, if you get to the top of the list, you get 40 cycles per week, which gives you $10,000 a week. This is the level that I'm on already. I've done two videos and I mentioned it for what, one minute? I'm already on 10 grand a week. And there are people below me that are approaching that right now. So you've got these different areas here. You've got Mint Builder, Student Mint Builder, Graduate Mint Builder, Professional, Master and Mint President. So I'm approaching, I'm coming into the area of Master Mint Builder and I will be Mint President within the next two days. That is how quickly this network is growing. Uh, to qualify, so you need different points here. So uh, if you join up before the 7th of December, before the end of 7th of December, so you've got less than 48 hours to sign up now. Personal referral points, you need 25 points each side. You get, you become a mint builder just by signing up before the 7th. Otherwise, there are three layers below this and it takes you a while to get to this level. You get 20, 250 mint points either side. You then qualify for a free mint coin and you will get a maximum income of $250 a week. Most people that I've loaded up are already graduate mint builders, either student mint builders or graduate mint builders, depending on how many people I've put under you. There's going to be another 200 people coming in tonight and over the next 24 hours, I will load these people up so you all become graduate mint builders. You can all just sit there and earn $1,000 a week just by having the people that I'm putting underneath you now. If we look, let's go back to the mint builder. I will show you what I've done in the last week. If I show you my team and I show you the binary tree, I can show you all of the pit. Look, this is loaded, believe it or not. This is how uh, wide my tree has become now. So if you look at me right at the very top, there we are, right in the middle. So if I scroll down and I show you some more of the tree, you can see some of these people here who are in my team. And all, most of these people at the top won't even need to market it. I mean, yeah, you can tell your friends, you can tell your family. You can market it on Facebook, uh, you can share it, but I'd rather have people having organic shares than uh, sharing everything via links on you know, Facebook or anything. So this is a real, um, this is a real organic team. And all of this is via word of mouth. You look at the teams here, you can see all the people in the team. You can join this team and the quicker you get in, the quicker I can place you and put you underneath all of these people in the team. Okay, so I'm going to put the link underneath. Um, if you sign up now, you get wholesale prices on the, oh, I'll show you the shop actually. Let's go to the member shop. Okay, so you get wholesale prices. Uh, this is member pricing and then you get the wholesale pricing where you get discounts on all of this. So you've got uh, access to MS70 graded mint coins. You get one of these every single month worth $127. Uh, you can also buy all these different types of coins, one ounce, uh, gems, silver ingles. Um, you can get uh, one gram, two and a half gram, five gram and ten gram gold bars. Uh, and also rare coins, you know, American eagles, you get uh, one tenth of an ounce gold eagles. Um, all of these are available. So you will be paid either in your dollar balance. You can either cash out in Bitcoin. You can buy in in Bitcoin, which is the the beauty of the system is you can earn Bitcoin as a passive income or if you if you have issues with exchange and you have lots of Bitcoin or you are a market trader, you can have it in gold and have it delivered for free to your address. So there you go. You've got 24 hours, guys, to sign up. 
or nearly all of our team are signed up. Uh, if you want to get involved, you've got 48 hours. I jump on board right now. Uh, the link's at the bottom. Send me an email. And we have got new news coming over the next two days. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow and I will be launching the new platform. So emails, if you've noticed, if you look back through all of our channel on the, uh, on the YouTube channel, I've now started deleting my email address from every single video. So everyone's been communicating to me either via YouTube uh, in comments, which is about 500 a day at the moment, or a thousand emails a day. So that can't scale. So we are moving to our new system. We are launching to our, uh, admi uh, our, our admins, our platform admins today. Once they are happy, then tomorrow I will be launching all of the access for all of our content, both for the BitConnect YouTube channel and also for Team Smurf. We also have another level that we've added to our system for corporate sponsors, for, for corporate investors. We are now starting to get, as a channel, lots of corporate investment um, uh, people wanting to come on board. So there will be a separate area for, for corporate sponsors. And uh, uh, so um, we've got a big team coming in the UK shortly and we have a big team in Australia. So those are my two markets and there's lots of new stuff coming for 2018. It's going to be a fantastic year. So peck her up, keep smiling, forget the FUD. Uh, if you've got any questions, just ask, you know how to do it. Uh, in the meantime, check out the videos, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Roy Murphy, you're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. We bring you new videos, each and every day. To join our team, click the referral link below this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and interact with us in the comments box below. BitConnect. Creating wealth for everyone.